In other news tonight, the Ministry of Social Services and Urban Development, along with police, continuing their investigation tonight into the escape this weekend of 13 boys from the Simpson Penn School in Fox Hill. Tonight, we're joined by Minister of Social Services, the Honorable Frankie Campbell, who will give us the latest on the investigation. Good evening to you, Mr. Campbell. Good evening, Kishla. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And you? I'm good, thanks. Great. Well, at last report, uh, we were told that there was just one boy of the 12 who has not returned to the center. Is that still the case? And what is the latest on the investigation? Up to two hours ago, the, that remained the same. One boy remains outstanding. As for the investigation, the police continue. It is an active investigation. We are concerned about security. Um, the security includes securing persons from leaving who are not supposed to leave and securing persons from entering who are not supposed to enter. Now, you expressed uh, concern uh, just after this incident about the frequency or lack thereof of, of checks um, at the facility. How much of a, of a problem is that? Uh, what has your investigation told you about uh, that aspect of security? To begin with, the property is about 25 acres. And so while security must focus on the physical plant itself, the buildings, the gates, the fences, etc. There must also be similar and equal concern for the manpower resources. Um, the area has to be patrolled, persons must be available to make checks. And so we're talking about both quantity and quality. That is definitely under review and I can give assurance that some changes will be made. Now, a lot has been made about the, uh, the role of custodial uh, institutions in the country, uh, the focus being, of course, on making sure that there's a rehabilitative aspect. How much of that is at play at uh, both the Simpson Pen and this, the girls' school, and what would you like to see happen in, in that regard? Well, to begin with, we, though a sovereign nation, we are signatories to a number of international conventions, the rights of the child being one of them. So first of all, we have to ensure that we are upholding those standards. And we must be mindful that as we refer to the youth as our future, these persons, though incarcerated at, at this time, are a part of that future. And so we have a responsibility to ensure to the best of our ability, we provide them with the tools necessary to become productive uh, citizens. And, and finally, I just want to ask you, in cases like these, uh, escape charges are a possibility. Are they, are, they, are they a must? Is it inevitable? Nothing is a must. The consideration will be given to the circumstances and the facts. The police will give uh, recommendations. The attorney general who is responsible for prosecution will make a final decision and we'll take it from there. All right. Thank you very much, Minister of Social Services and Urban Development, the Honorable Frankie Campbell. Thank you for having me.